Hey guys, Golix here. Well, I didn't want to make another one of these videos. Well, not exactly, but I was thinking about it. I was watching, um, let me check over here. I was like, oh no, it's Alex's latest, um, port review for The Last of Us. I kind of knew in the back of my head that this port was going to be absolute shit, unfortunately. Uh, you can see Resident Evil 4 Remake, it's act, it's kicking the shit out of all the other PC ports that come in. Maybe Dead Space kind of, eh, a little, little in there. It, it still kind of ran good on my 1080 Ti. The Resident Evil 4 Remake runs like a fucking dream on my, you know, thing. But, yeah, I, uh, looking at the video that Alex put in, yeah, this is a very, very bad port. Now, go with his specs, um, in terms of CPU, GPU, Alex has a Ryzen 7 7700X and a RX 7900 XT, and he also can use FSR2. Even with FSR2, reminder, that he only gets about maybe 10 to 15 frames more than usual, and that's on the uh, standard balance, not performance or whichever, and that's really, really bad. Uh, in the menu, it could go up to like 118, 120 FPS, but yeah, when he's actually playing the game, it scales down to 60 to 70 frames per second. And this is the thing that in general that is really pissing me off. I don't know if it's actually like the developer side of things or if it's just more of the higher end companies, but more and more you're seeing uh, companies, like I said, they are trying to say, oh, just like, you don't have to pay for this. Like, you don't have to like, we're not gonna optimize this shit. Just get DLSS or FSR. And reminder that it's very, very expensive to get these types of cards. Maybe not exactly what AMD's cards exactly. Granted, I feel I still feel like they're not an XT and XDX are overpriced, but yeah, it, this is not really a good idea. But again, like I said, Capcom, it runs beautifully on my 1080 Ti. I, I get like 60 plus frames per second. It's very rarely that the game is not working. I, d I do, the only issue I would say with it is that um, when I was playing the demo of it, it was kind of a little iffy on my Xbox controller. People are having, I think they believe, like dead zone issues with Xbox controllers, but otherwise it still runs perfectly fine. It's a good game, both in its story gameplay and its port. So all that's good. But yeah, I really don't like this, <laughs> that what like that we're going to, the future of PC gaming in terms of it. And like I said before, and I hate to say it, but you're better off just getting a console at this point, so at least you can multitask. Oh, the PC port does work? It's okay, I'll just go on the PS5 or the Xbox Series X or whatever. And I'm not saying like, oh, they're purposely doing it, they're just being fucking idiotic about it. They hired, Sony hired, or Naughty Dog in this case, whichever, hired fucking Iron Galaxy to make this. Reminder, these guys made that fucking Arkham Knight PC port that was fucking terrible. And I don't even know what to, like, um, oh my god, I don't even know what to say. It's like, I'm, I'm looking at the video now, right? I'll, tell you, I'll put a link down in this video down in the description. But, man, uh, I'll give, uh, the only slice of credit I'll give Iron Galaxy is they have a lot of options when it comes to the port. But otherwise, yeah, when you're actually playing the port is the issue. And, again, it goes to this, um, what's the term? CPU bottleneck, I think. And my god, it's, it's so fucking bad. I, I cannot believe it. I'm, even if I, right in the future, even, no, I think, like, um, uh, don't, uh, take this with a grain of salt. I saw this one guy in this comment, he said, oh, he had a, he had a 7900 XTX and a 7950X CPU. And he says he still has issues with the game. Uh, a little more frames than than Alex, but it's still terrible and reasonably so. And this, uh, again, this is what I'm worried too. Again, apparently too, another thing too as I go through this, um, Neil, Neil Drunkman like saying some bullshit like, oh, it'll be Steam Deck. No, it's not compatible at all. Do not play The Last of Us Part 1 Remake on uh, Steam Deck because it's terrible. It's really terrible. If you check the screenshots on people trying to do it, again, Alex's 
Twitter on it. Again, I will try to put a link down in the description below with it. Again, it's fucking terrible. Like, man. Oh, man. It's, it's really, really bad. But... Oh, I don't even know, like, again, to go on with this. But like, like I said before, this is, like, what's probably going to happen the next couple of years. You get these companies they are going to start doing these this stupid bullshit to try to, quote-unquote, convince you to buy. See, like this. When, you, when I want to get something like this, it's because I chose to do it. I want to get more frames, more performance. Not, not a force necessary decision because when you do that that just makes me not want to fucking buy it this is what these people fucking do man like I, straight up now i'm fucking pissed about it because again and, and you know to the pc economy is in like been f fucking shambles but parts of our thanks to goddamn nvidia and all this other uh bullshit monopoly but uh, that's sto again story for another day but yeah and again, you see why people, and I, I hate to keep regurgitating it, but you see why people like me, when it's like I refuse to, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it, uh, it's expensive, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's expensive, but the reason I don't do it is because I type my grips, get my shotgun, they try to burst in the doors, I'm like, I'm like, I'm not going to change my parts, because again, it's either too expensive or the ports are shit, and I just feel like I'm being forced into it, if I want to do it, at this point, the only reason I want to upgrade is because I want I want to like maybe get better at editing, or when I edit, it doesn't you know fuck up my PC, or when I stream, I'll be able to get more frames of performance, and you know you know on a singular PC, because um as much as I love the parts now, oh yeah I have I do have a new GoFundMe because apparently the GoFundMe I put in, but I'll put down the link tree so you guys don't have to worry about that. But anyways, yeah. I, I said before, when I get the new PC, and mainly at this point, it's just like to get better performance when I stream. Not because, unfortunately, because, oh, um, I chose, chose, chose to do it. It sucks, but it is what it is. But, um, yeah, at the end of the day, I want to say to this, the future game developers or future companies, is, please, for the love of God, you got to check the PC ports. Like, like you got to check with it for real. I know, I know, some people say it's impossible to cater to low, mid, or high-end PC users of ports because, hey, not, you know, it's, a, at least with, with the consoles, it's it has the one-and-done parts and that's it. It's easy to compatible, compatible with all of them. PC is different because they have all these different parts and stuff and they have to, like, um, go like, oh, does this work or that work? Yes, I understand it's complicated, but it's not impossible. And again, look at Resident Evil 4 Remake. They did it so beautifully. I run I run it on a 10 ATI, and like I said, it runs beautifully. Like, I get 60 plus FPS. I can run it mostly on, like, I think medium high settings, and I don't get any frame hitches. It's really good. So please, look into that. Look how Capcom do it. Granted, there is the, I think, what is it, Novo DRM, which kind of like, eh, is iffy but otherwise i'll say like this though the port still works it still runs very beautifully but anyways that's gonna be it for today thank you everybody for watching um i have hired a thumbnail artist i don't know i think like keep going it for a while uh yeah it's pretty good i pay him like two bucks per four thumbnails you probably have seen with the diablo video the stream elements video and the rant i did on chica's the chica emo thing so you'll see a new emo with, sorry, not emote, thumbnail for this later. Um, yeah, please, like, um, if you, um, please, uh, be sure to help him out. I will try to put his Twitter down if I can remember it down in the description below as well. So, again, thank you everybody so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys later.